Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I just decided I wanted to sit in my big comfy chair. Please excuse me in the background, in my mirror. I hope it's not distracting. That's why I usually don't sit like this, but I wanted the natural light. Hopefully you guys don't mind. <laughs> I placed two orders in the past month. I know that is excessive, but I really like clothes. <laughs> I had some really, really cute stuff on there that I couldn't pass up. I'm actually wearing a romper from them today. You guys will see it in the try-on portion. I just went... I went ham on everything because it's kind of one of those websites where everything is 50% off all the time. So, you know, they never really sell anything for full price. And I like to pretend like I'm getting a deal when I shop on there. I've been, um... I've been mistreated in the past by Boohoo and I decided that these two orders are going to be the deciding factor on whether or not I'm going to buy from this freaking website anymore because sometimes it's absolute garbage and I'm sick of having things show up that I'm like, wow, I really don't like this. So let's get started. The first thing is a t-shirt dress. It is right here. It is striped. It is a US 16. I always have trouble with their sizing. I never know if something is a 16 or 18 is gonna fit me. Their sizing is all over the place. I think it's because it's originally in UK, so... When they convert it over to US, some things just don't translate. It should be easier, but it's not. <laughs> the thing is, I wish this was a tad bit looser. If I had gotten an 18, it just would have fit a little bit better. Because it's a t-shirt dress, I wanted it to just go all the way down straight, and it kind of gets bunched up at my hips because I have larger hips, and it creates that like weird thing where it makes your stomach look bigger even though it's not. I don't know. It's just not the most flattering on me. You know what's funny is somebody told me that I talk too much and I gotta be honest, uh, I do. <laughs> and I feel like I want to say so much about clothing because I get really like into what I'm talking about but when I'm editing it, I know that I talk a lot, so don't even worry about it, like, I know. Anyways, the next thing is this very, very slinker, like, I don't know how to describe it. I think that's what they call it on the website, slinky material. It is a skirt, so it has this, like, ruching thing over the front, and it kind of just, like, makes you look slimmer on your waist, which I appreciate. I think that if you're trying to cover a food baby like I'm usually doing, this is like the perfect skirt for that. I got this in a size 16. I haven't tried this on, but I just don't really know how I feel about it. I don't own a white shirt. I think it's because I'm so clumsy, so all of my white things end up with stains and then I have to throw them away or give them away or whatever because, you know, unless unless I can take it out because I've been known to take out a very good stain in my day, but, um, yeah, I just don't own anything white other than this, like, cardigan thing. <laughs> I was kind of disappointed when I got this in the mail because... Uh, it's really more of like a tannish beige. It feels okay, but it feels pretty cheap. Got this in a 18, so hopefully it'll be slightly oversized. Something that is actually white is this ruched top. I love tops like this where it has a little string detail and then it's like ruched in the middle. I think it's so gorgeous. It has like the little frilly kind of edge going on and I could definitely see it paired with the skirt. So if I wanted to look fancy but like also like casual, like casual fancy, you know? Um, sorry, I'm really annoying. <laughs> Next up is one of the failed pieces and 
I was really excited for this because it's part of the Zendaya collection and I love Zendaya. She is like, oh my god, I just like slapped myself, ow. She's like so gorgeous. Um, she had this top and it's like bright orange. It has like these like, um, this detail around the breastuses and it's best worn without a bra, but I can't do that because my boobs are like asymmetrical and it looks weird. So I have to wear like a bandeau under it and it just doesn't look right. Um, it's too big on me, so it just looks weird. And you know, it's probably more of like a me problem because I'm sure somebody else out there can like rock this shirt without a bra and it would look amazing. I got it in, I got it in a 16 but it's still big on me and I'm just so confused. Their sizing is all over the place. Also it came like ripped and I'm just, yeah, there's like extra string hanging off. It just reminds me so much of like Chinese like wholesale brands and I'm like mate like what are you doing? I'm paying money for this. It should not have a fucking hole in it. Also this material like Zendaya girl you should have asked for some thicker material because this is just flimsy as fuck and I uh, I'm sure some- I'm just butt hurt because I really wanted it to work. That's the truth. <laughs> Next up is another off the shoulder top. This one has that little like crisscross detail in the front, but it is a tad bit small. But this is the confusing part. So don't like come at me and be like, oh, well, you're just choosing the wrong sizes. No. No, 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 no. This one. <laughs> this is a 16. This one is an 18. This one is too big. This one is too small. What? I'm just, uh... Boo-hoo! What the fuck? I just get so annoyed because I want things to work. You know when you see it online? I just want this to look how it looks on the model on me. <laughs> the reason that I think it's a little bit too small is it has elasticated kind of like stuff in the back. I don't know. So when it gets to like my shoulder, it kind of cuts in a bit. Maybe over time it'll just get a little bit bigger. But the really weird part is that on the like wrist, this is so tiny and it hurts my wrist. It feels like when you have one of like those hair bands around your wrist and then you like take it off and then there's like that indent on your wrist. That's what it feels like. I know the cycling short like trend is kind of on its way out, but I kind of like it. And I'm I'm kind of low key embarrassed to admit that I like it. If you like it too, you, you cool. I appreciate you. I got them in a US 16. I'm hoping they're gonna fit. They're more of like a ribbed material. They feel very stretchy. I'm hoping that's gonna fit my thighs and my butt. So you guys will see in the try on portion. I have one more piece for you. <sighs> Another off the shoulder top. I feel like a broken record. I just really like off the shoulder stuff. It's very trendy at the moment and it's just comfortable. With other shirts, I find that they just kind of slip around and they're kind of all over the place and I'm just like, oh my God, why the fuck are my boobs out right now, you know? So when it comes to this, like I can wear a bandeau and it's just gonna keep everything in. I was really excited about this one too. Uh. <laughs> because this is a thin fabric, it's that slinky material. <laughs> it's a thinner fabric, I swear to God. Everything on that fucking website is like thin material and what does a girl got to do to get something double lined? Also, it is very tight on me and it's an 18. Did they just switch up the tags? I'm so 
confused. It's just very tight on me. I don't know. Maybe I was just feeling like bloated because I was on my period when I tried it on. We'll see. But yeah, I'm just not impressed. The polka dot romper that I'm wearing, I'm definitely keeping. It's really adorable. It has like this whole tie up in the front and I was surprised actually by the quality of this romper. They did good. My final thoughts, am I going to continue to buy from this brand? I think I will, but I also think I'm going to be a little bit more selective with what I do buy. I do want to try out Pretty Little Thing, which is very similar to Boohoo and like Fashion Nova and stuff. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. Hope you guys enjoyed me ranting about Boohoo. <laughs> That is it for this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I love you guys so much. Until next time, bye.